the most perturbing part of this video you're about to watch is that most of these old people that are being victimized that i'm showing you in my social media handles they are mostly from the southern nigeria you hardly see the northerners treat their elders this way now i'm going to show you just these short clips these two old men i'm showing you again um they are in prison for minor cases you know, most of the elders you are seeing inside the prison is either that their children committed crime and they took the elders into the prison. I have so many videos, so don't doubt. Soon I'm going to bring more that will shock you. And then the other ones are people that are just there because of land dispute. I have some other one too, like the man that's over 100 years. I don't know if you have seen that video too. I'm going to show that. With time, I'm going to bring in some certain videos that will make you to wake up as a citizen of this country. And then if you want to go into law, go into law for a purpose to save the poor, not just to make money. So many people are here as judge in this nation because they've sold their birthright to Satan. That's why they can't defend the innocent ones like this. As long as you give them the money, they throw the old men in the prison. It is very sad. But the good thing is that every decree that I pass in the prison, God honors it. Yes, um, our prayers, my prayers in the prison concerning these people, are mostly made with holy anger the bible says suffer not the witch to live and secondly say the rod of the wicked will not hazard their evil over the poor and the righteous ones it's not possible yes i can assure you that most of the prayers that are made in the prison against all these rich men that are locking the innocent people up in the prison because of land dispute because of what the sons did and all that god answers every one of those prayers the Bible says in the book of Psalm 125 verse 3, it says, For the scepter of the wickedness shall not rest on the land allotted to the righteous, lest the righteous reach out their hands to iniquity. Why did God say this? You know, do you know what is scepter? Scepter is a ruling authority, ruling staff. It's an authority. It's an authority bestowed onto a particular person. He said the scepter, the scepter of the wickedness, the authority of the wickedness will not rest on the land allotted to the righteousness. So how can we keep quiet and allow these people messing the life of the elders up? Please take your time, watch our videos, join Abounding Grace Foundation. Let's bring this madness to an end. We can continue like this land dispute land dispute many old people are languishing in jail and then uh, some of them in jail because of their sons and their daughter's crime it's unacceptable it's quite perturbing my spirit is grieved and i believe holy spirit is also grieved you know i don't know if you know how much god loves yourself you know that he do love you more than you can imagine I have heard it. I was sitting, I was standing in that place and I hear the voice of God say to me, come and tell you that it is well with you. That it is well with you. What's your name, sir? Columbus. Columbus. The Lord, the Lord Almighty is about to do something in your life. So what I'm about to tell you now, you might not believe me. If you stay here more than three weeks, 21 days, the person that is holding you here has themselves to be blamed. I mean, the best man who brought you to this very prison, whoever it is, have themselves to plan. God has set you free, and the Bible says that whoever son of man says free is free indeed. When God has set you free, you are free indeed. So anything, whether it's made, I met one man in local prison, and been there for 30 years, and the man told me that he was sentenced because of me doing the military crime, so there's something they can do. I said, no, 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 something must happen. I said, sir, you must go home. And I gave him four weeks. He will go home. Before three weeks, he was sent home. I met so many death sentences in Kirikiri prison. In other places, I told them the same thing. Some of them I give only 28 days. Some of them I give to one day that God gave me utterance. Once you give those days, God will honor you because I am a servant and not a slave. I said, anyone that holds you here beyond that age, one day have themselves to be blamed. Because you know, the enemy can be very stubborn sometimes. Yeah, because they are stubborn, they die and perish. I'm saying this, sir, Chief, you are going home in 21 days. Anybody who holds you beyond that, have yourself to be Then can I see you, sir, at least. May God bless you, sir. May God bless you, sir. Amen. That it is well with you. It is well with you, sir. Amen. How long have you been here? 
can some days. God says he has forgiven you for whatever that has brought you here. He has forgiven you. Just only what you need to do is to make sure that you talk to the youth here so that they will not go into hell. That is a ministry that you have. He wants to help you. Then what he wants you to do, he brought you inside this place because there are some youth you need to have. Pop them like your sons, like your children, see them here. Seriously, sir. If you can do this thing properly, God will show to turn this and you see yourself walk out of there without any fine, no thing. You can't have anything against you anymore. That is the God I'm serving. I know that He can do it. That is God bless you, sir. From today, the blessings of God has come upon you and it shall be.